doggy smell can be quite a lot to deal with. The odor makes it a tad unpleasant to have physical contact with your four-legged friend. Petting, snuggling, hugging, playing with the dog becomes somewhat of a struggle. The likelihood of the smell transferring to your house, couch, bedding, rugs, you name it, is quite high as well. Take a look at these top 10 dog breeds that don't shed or smell. Part 2 Number 10. Basenji Known as the barkless dog, Basenji makes an excellent addition to any family. These dogs have sweet facial expressions, so you'll know what your Basenji is feeling without any barking required. This breed is known to be extremely intelligent, athletic, and independent. The activity level of Basenji is very high, so they are best suited for active families who will give their dogs lots of time to adventure outside. Basenjis only need a light brushing once a week, so coat oils are spread evenly, ensuring your dog has a shiny and healthy coat. These dogs are also low maintenance when it comes to bathing. They are odorless dogs. They only really require a bath when they get into something particularly messy. Number 9. Bichon Frise Bichon Frise are known for their fantastic personalities and their looks. Personality-wise, these dogs are intelligent, playful, and perky. Looks-wise, these dogs have beautiful, non-shedding, non-smelling coats. In addition, Bichon Frise's has curly, white hair across their entire body, causing them to look like an adorable cotton ball. These dogs require brushing two to three times a week to prevent their beautiful hair from matting. Bichon Frise also needs to be bathed and clipped once a month, usually requiring a professional groomer's knowledge and care. Number 8. Maltese Like Bichon Frise, Maltese are small, white, non-shedding, and non-smelling dogs. The big difference between the two breeds is Maltese tend to be slightly smaller. Additionally, while Bichon Frise has curly hair, Maltese have beautiful straight hair. Maltese are gentle, kind, and playful little puppies, so they make a great addition to families with children. Maltese need regular brushing to ensure their long hair does not get matted. Additionally, Maltese is one of the few dog breeds that need conditioning treatments in addition to frequent shampooing. This conditioning ensures your Maltese keeps its beautiful hair soft and silky. Number 7. Whippet Whippets are truly the least smelly of dogs and are particularly odorless. Their short coat means minimal shedding and grooming. Similar to greyhounds, Whippets are a popular racing breed and were once used for hunting rabbits. Because of their athleticism and intelligence, they excel in agility and obedience courses. But even with all that energy, these dogs are surprisingly very relaxed and quite enjoy a good nap. They love spending time with your entire family and can adapt to nearly any type of home. Also, they rarely bark, and the only time they tend to make noise is when they're left alone. Number 6. Poodle Poodles come in all different sizes, from toy to miniature to standard. You can get a poodle in any size you desire. In addition, these dogs also come in various colors such as apricot, black, and white, making them a truly versatile and well-loved breed worldwide. These dogs are athletic, intelligent, and elegant, making them great companions and competitors in the show ring. Poodles are incredibly low shedding and do not exude an odor. These dogs require daily brushing and regular professional grooming to maintain their distinct, beautiful coats. Number 5. Schnauzer Another dog breed in many different sizes, Schnauzers are a fantastic non-shedding, non-smelling option. Schnauzers can come in various sizes, from miniature to giant. So, you are guaranteed to find a schnauzer in a size you like. These dogs are known for their big gray beards, thick eyebrows, and distinguished salt and pepper hair. Schnauzers get along well with children and other animals, making them an excellent choice for families with children or other pets. 
Schnauzers require regular grooming done by a professional to maintain their beautiful style and ensure their coats are healthy. You'll also need to brush your Schnauzer regularly to ensure shedding to a bare minimum. Number 4. West Highland Terrier West Highland Terriers, also known as Westies, are adorable little dogs with non-shedding, non-smelling coats. These tiny terriers are some of the most popular globally and for a good reason. Westies have vibrant, happy, and loyal personalities, making them great fun for the whole family. Westies have a unique wiry coat that need to be brushed daily as this will keep your Westie feeling happy and healthy. This brushing is essential as it will keep your Westie clean without bathing it regularly. Bathing a Westie too often can harm this beautiful dog as it will strip the skin of healthy oils. You should get your Westie professionally groomed every four to six weeks, but avoid bathing as much as possible between those times. West Highland Terrier Mentions Best Westie Breeds in the United States Now that you are familiar with some of the most popular purebred dogs, it is time to look at some of the best hybrids that don't shed or smell. These are some of the most popular dogs in the world, so you are sure to find the right fit for your desires. Number 3. Golden Doodle Golden Doodles have all the best qualities of Golden Retrievers and Poodles. They have Golden Retrievers loving and loyal temperament while maintaining Poodles intelligence and grace. Golden Doodles come in an extensive range of colors and sizes, so you are bound to find one that matches perfectly with you. These dogs require frequent brushing to maintain their coats, but luckily they take after their poodle parents when it comes to being low odor. One of the appeals of Golden Doodles is that they are believed to be hypoallergenic. Unfortunately, no dog breed is truly 100% hypoallergenic. When a breed is called hypoallergenic, they shed less than normal and produce less dander, the primary antagonist for your allergies. But even hypoallergenic breeds can still cause allergic reactions. Golden Doodles, even though one parent breed is hypoallergenic, aren't totally off the hook. A pet's dander is only one of many possible allergens that may set off your allergies. Others include your dog's urine, saliva, and fur. While dogs who shed less may not release as many allergens, you won't be totally free from allergies around them. Number 2. Labradoodles Like Golden Doodles, Labradoodles inherit their non-shedding and non-smelling coats from their poodle parent. A hybrid mix of Labrador Retriever and Poodle, these dogs are intelligent, athletic, and beautiful. Labradoodles are an excellent choice for active families. These dogs have lots of energy and love to go on adventures. Labradoodles require bathing every two to three weeks to maintain their low odor. But luckily, these dogs typically do not smell. Grooming requirements vary depending on the length and type of coat the dog has. Generally speaking, you can expect to brush a Labradoodle about once or twice per week. Some can be clipped or trimmed every six to eight weeks to keep the coat easy to maintain. A Labradoodle should only be bathed when necessary, which isn't often, as many of the coats don't have a noticeable doggy odor. Like Labs, Labradoodles can be prone to ear infections, so take a little extra time caring for their ears. Dry and clean them after a swim and check them once a week for dirt, redness, or a bad odor that can indicate an infection. Then wipe them out weekly with a cotton ball dampened with gentle pH balance ear cleaner to prevent problems. Brush your Labradoodle's teeth at least two to three times a week to remove tartar buildup and the bacteria that lurk inside it. Daily brushing is even better if you want to prevent gum disease and bad breath. Trim nails once or twice a month if your dog doesn't wear them down naturally to prevent painful tears and other problems. If you hear them clicking on the floor, they're too long. Dog toenails have blood vessels in them, and if you cut too far, you can cause bleeding and your dog may not cooperate the next time they see the nail clippers come out. So, if you're not experienced trimming dog nails, ask a vet or groomer for pointers. 
Begin accustoming your Labradoodle being brushed and examined when they are a puppy. Handle their paws frequently. Dogs are touchy about their feet and look inside their mouth. Make grooming a positive experience filled with praise and rewards and you'll lay the groundwork for easy veterinary exams and other handling when they're an adult. As you groom, check for sores, rashes, or signs of infection such as redness, tenderness, or inflammation on the skin, in the nose, mouth, and eyes, and on the feet. Eyes should be clear with no redness or discharge. Your careful weekly exam will help you spot potential health problems early. Number 1. Multi-Poo Last on the list of dog breeds that don't smell or shed is the Multi-Poo, a mix of the Maltese and Poodle. Multi-Poos are guaranteed to be non-shedding and non-smelling because both parents' breeds have these traits. Multi-Poos are gentle, affectionate, and playful, but these dogs are also highly compact making them a great companion for children. When it comes to grooming your multi-poo, there is a fine line between too much and not enough bathing. They need to be bathed every two to three weeks to maintain a clean coat. However, multi-poos have sensitive skin, requiring special shampoo and conditioner. Ensuring your multi-poo gets proper grooming means it will smell, look, and feel its best at all times. Do let us know in the comments which dog breed is your most favorite.